Hello everyone, I'm Sashko Protya, a documentary filmmaker from Ukraine. I'm a member of Free Filmers. I live in Mariupol. It's a big city, uh, industrial city on the sea coast. It's uh, infamous for its proximity to the front line in East Ukraine and also it's very bad air pollution. Mariupol announced uh, quarantine measures on uh, March the 11th, uh, just like the other cities and regions in Ukraine. Since then, these measures have been reinforced, and today, the 6th of April, uh, like the authorities have implemented the total lockdown. Uh, based on the official statistics, there are six uh, confirmed cases of the virus in the city. But I would say that uh, looking through my window uh, on the first floor, I can see that their reality in Mariupol looks somewhat different from the expectations of the authorities. Most people wear masks, but apparently they misuse them uh, because like, they just wear disposable masks, masks for as long as possible. Also, they gather in groups, uh, sometimes more than five persons, at least in backyards. Uh, but I would say that the city of Mariupol has never been that crowded and it's always been easy to get around the city without approaching anyone for closer than two meters. And uh, in this respect, Mariupol is still the same. You can easily get around without uh, contacting many people. Uh, but it's not the case uh, about the Mariupol public transport, which has always been overcrowded. Uh, so as far as I know, the biggest Mariupol enterprises, uh, that is uh, Iron Works, uh, we have just two huge plants in the city which produce steel. Uh, so these enterprises, uh, they still work more or less at full capacity with just no one uh, like being redundant. But the situation is much worse for small and medium enterprises and uh, its uh, higher workers. So like most of them have been shut down and it triggered some protests of street market vendors at the end of March, but as far as I know, the just protests uh, didn't lead to any possible solutions. Some tax relief has been promised for small and medium enterprises, uh, but uh, as well as uh, rental price reduction has been recommended. But as far as I know, both uh, rental price reductions and uh, possible delays of uh, loan repayment uh, have to be negotiated individually uh, high workers of small and medium enterprises are affected uh, most by the crisis because uh, for now uh, they say that unemployment and impoverishment look much more real than the threat of the epidemic itself because uh, like most of these hired workers they just don't have any savings and uh, probably I mean like this quarantine measures and epidemic is expected to last for uh, much longer than one month, which was promised uh, when the quarantine measures were implemented uh, yeah, on uh, March the 11th. <laughs>